what a day what a day so i did a build and it's the flash build i suppose i don't know what else to call it um the speed force <laughs> uh yeah so you know in lieu of the new season of the flash starting and uh wanting to get a build done because i hadn't got a build done in the channel in a while uh, i threw together something with all the parts that i had locked knocking around that i wasn't using anymore so uh i i did do a kind of a price of as to how much you would get this stuff if you bought it used because um if you bought it used it would be a lot cheaper than i put it together for but i put it together for about i'd say 570 or so uh, it has eight gigabytes ram a ryzen 1200 and b350 motherboard uh asus prime b350 uh, i chose that i chose see you could have put this together for a lot cheaper but i chose the parts because i wanted to be expandable i wanted to be able to add like a six core if you wanted to add a six core add uh three more dims of ram if you wanted to add three more dims of ram Add a second crosswire card. I wouldn't do it on a B three hundred and fifty, but you can actually do it. It says on the box it's a, it's four lanes of crosswire, so it's a, four lanes of PCI Express, and it runs through the chipset rather than the CPU. So it's not exactly crosswire, but there is some scaling there if you wanted to do it. Um, it's got a four hundred and fifty watt power supply. It's got a right a right uh, an RX four hundred and eighty, um, which is like I was surprised with the with the uh, Ryzen three twelve hundred overclocked 3.8 gigahertz i was surprised with the numbers i did a little montage at the end so i'll throw the montage together with some performance numbers but i'll just talk about it now uh like yeah so you're looking at i in doom vulcan like 140 ish frames a second kind of goes between 130 180 uh, i don't like giving averages because i like to give what i see as i'm playing the game do i see any dips and when i see the dips do i glance over and do i see the thing so i do game i do play the game for a while when i see them what you're going to see is montage of numbers and you're just can see a little bit of the game just to prove that i got the numbers that i got i said i got but when you're actually playing it yourself you notice when there's stutters and stuff so i think that's the better way to do it uh, 70 frames a second in PUBG, about 80 ish frames a second maxed out settings 1080p in uh um fortnite uh it got uh, it, it it was really surprised csgo like csgo is a really easy game to run but i know there's a cpu bottleneck there because it was getting the same frames per second in 1440p as it was in 1080p so that's a cpu bottleneck around 150 140 frames a second exactly the same whether it's playing 1440p or 1080 so that tells me there's a cpu bottleneck there bottle, bottleneck there if you wanted to play csgo i'd probably just go with an intel a cheap intel cpu probably get much better performance and uh, if that's all you're playing is csgo uh but um yeah so that's kind of the numbers uh, Cinebench score of 600, uh, 594, something like that. So, yeah. So, the whole idea behind this was that um, I just had some parts knocking around, thought I'd put a bill together, thought we'd do something interesting with it. Um, it's going to go on adverts now today and be sold. So, you can own this if you want. Uh, I'm going to sell it for what I made it for. So, I'm not looking for profit. I did it for the channel. So, uh, if you if you come from I'm gonna link the video in adverts. So if you come from adverts and you're trying to lowball me, I'm gonna take what I what I think it's worth. I think it's worth what I what I paid for five seventy. Uh, you're getting a game of PC with three more slots of RAM, uh, an overclock, a decent graphics card, uh, one hundred twenty eight gigabyte SSD, one hundred twenty gig SSD, and a five hundred gigabyte hard drive as well. So. Uh, yeah, to I think at five hundred and seventy to get an SSD a hard drive and all that stuff, I think it's good. Uh, don't want to seem like a sales pitch for this. It's just I I, I like to give back, and I can't give things away because I a tiny little YouTube channel. So I like to just give it for the price that I built it for. Built it for. Um, I'm not trying to make any money. Here it is. Uh, painting is done and all that stuff. So it looks nice. Uh, yeah. Um. So I'm happy with how it turned out. This case, uh, I can't remember the exact name of this case, but it's uh, kind of shit. <laughs> so that's why we painted it because, other than that, it's kind of like, there's no cable management in the back. They put out this big, there's like this big uh, bend in the back. I don't know whether you can see it. See that? And it looks like it's got cable management space. It doesn't. Um, yeah, so you kind of have to have the cables inside of the case. So I've got them all bundled up down there, which is kind of annoying. 
But yeah, I was actually surprised. I was surprised with the numbers I was getting. I was surprised with the usability. Like, I could use this as my actual, with 600 Cinebench. I, I was using an i7-920 before, and an i7-920 uh, clocked at 4 point something. Was it 4 point? No, it was 4, just 4 gigahertz. And I was getting 600 points. And it's a 4 core, 8 threaded CPU. So I've said that before when I was dealing with this CPU that, um, it's mad that now you can get it for like 80 i think it's 80 euro for that cpu which is mad um uh if you if you're really going to do it now i'd probably use a 2200g though to be honest and i'd probably use a, a b450 board but um remember ryzen is supported up until 2020 so yeah it's a nice build and um, the rx 480 is still a great graphics card it's like everything at 1080p does not don't even need to wonder whether it will work and then 1440p as long as you're willing to mess with settings you can get it uh, to play anything so it's it's a great card um yeah that's it uh, i'm gonna do the montage now so if you liked it like it if you disliked it dislike it but if you disliked it tell me why you disliked it because i can't fix it if i don't know what i did wrong in the comments do all that you know what do you think of it and um yeah like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'll see you around. So stick to for the montage. Uh, press this button to stop recording, but the video will continue.